Welcome to By George, where we are going to talk about sewing and probably a lot of other things. We are going to have a question and answer session today. And to be quite honest, I'm just going to be frank with you. I've already done this video once and didn't even click the record button. So, yeah, that's kind of where I'm at today. <laughs> We are doing a question and answer session. I'm going to ask myself some questions and then I'm going to answer the questions. And that way you kind of have a little bit of an idea of who I am and why I am doing a YouTube channel. So first question is just a question I had um, a lot of people ask over um, the last couple of years. Why don't you have a YouTube channel? Okay. so. Uh, you can't ask me that anymore because now I have one, but I didn't have one before because I'm super awkward and I make the weirdest facial expressions and I thought you had to be super techy and have lots of equipment and I really didn't want to hear myself say, give me a like and click the red button. Yeah. So that's why I didn't have a YouTube channel. Okay, next question is, why do you have a YouTube channel? Okay, this is more simple than I'm probably gonna make it. I wrote a pattern that I am writing a tutorial for. I want the pattern to be interactive so that whoever's right, actually making the pattern can click on a link and you know, during each step of the pattern and they will be able to watch the video because I have attention deficit and I search YouTube for how to do everything. It literally is like YouTube university for me. Go YouTube university. Yeah. So I want it to be easy for people to access uh, videos from my tutorial. And that is why I have started the YouTube channel. Okay, there you go. It's all about sewing. No, no, it's not. <laughs> all right, next question. Do you only sew? This was actually a question that I had that came across my feed or I think it maybe was as a response to a story that I did on Instagram. No, I don't only sew. I know it seems like I only sew because I'm in my sewing room a lot and I post a lot of sewing uh, pictures and photos and TikToks and things like that. But um, I do enjoy doing some other things and I do enjoy wood turning. My father passed away in July of this year and he was the one who taught me how to turn wood. And so I've not made it back out to the lathe yet. Um, I would call that either a really big excuse or part of the grooving process. Um, so I think at some point there will be some wood turning content on this, this particular channel. Um, I do like to be outside. I like sports. I like hiking. I like taking the dogs to the dog park. I like doing things with the kids. I like playing board games. I read, I do a lot of research. So yeah, there's that. I don't, just so, but I have to be honest, I do love to sew. All right, so when and how did you learn how to sew? All right, so as a child, I was six or seven, and my adopted mom actually had a very old Stinger sewing machine, the um, cast iron kind with the pedal that you had to push the pedal with your foot in order to make the needle go up and down. So that was my first experience with sewing um, an actual straight stitch. And I think I may have hemmed a pair of pants and maybe that was it. I, I honestly cannot remember. I just, I remember the sewing machine. I remember pushing the pedal and I remember the smell of it. Um, and that is kind of it. I do know that I learned some basic sewing skills, but I honestly don't remember a lot, so. Um, I learned how to sew a button too, so let's not forget that. That's super important in life. Yeah, so um, fast forward into my, I don't know, adult years when I had some big, like small children. And I remember purchasing the Project Runway uh, sewing machine back when Project Runway was super like 
uh, popular and I had no idea that it was super popular. Yeah, so I think I pretended that I was going to learn how to sew and I tried to sew a few things and probably felt like I was failing miserably so I put the sewing machine up and it collected dust for a lot of years and then the pandemic hit and I pulled said machine back out and spent multiple hours trying to clean it because it was covered in soot and dust and grime and started sewing masks and I upgraded from that machine and got my Husqvarna Topaz 50 and continued sewing masks and started learning how to sew purses and bags and then started sewing clothing. Um, upgraded again to a Juki industrial machine and also my best friend gave me a uh, Bernina serger so that I could sew knits and there you go. That is pretty much the sewing story. I've taught myself how to sew. I've learned all my sewing techniques pretty much from YouTube because YTU rocks. And I've got to say thanks to a million people on YouTube who have been brave and have posted sewing videos and who have been my sewing teacher for the last two years. You guys are amazing. People like Jess from Oakley Roots and um, more and more me know, uh, uh, Saya Swag. Uh, Lynn's Handmade, uh, just, just to name a few, and then of course I've learned a ton from the Liz Little Lizard King group. Being a tester for them has been such a great learning experience for me, and just like listening and paying attention to the feed and the comments from so many people on that group has been amazing, so thank you, thank you so much. All right. Is sewing my job? That is a question that my daughter asked me and I would have to say yes. It is my job, but I do love it. So it's not really a job if you love it, right? I know that's a cliche, but it is pretty much true. If you love your job, it's not really a job. I just wish that this job made a little bit more money. Unfortunately, in this culture, Handmade items sometimes are not um, prized and it doesn't tend to make as much money as it should, especially for the effort and the time and the cost that you put into sewing, um, which is unfortunate because sewing is a beautiful thing. It is a lost art and I think it should be rewarded with lots of money. <laughs> It's not going to keep me from sewing though. So, yes, it is my job. Okay. What kind of videos will I make? I don't have an answer for that, except for I do know that I will make sewing videos. Um, because I want the people who have my patterns to be able to click the link and to watch the videos. Is that going to be my only videos? Mm, I doubt it because I like a lot of things and I like to learn a lot of things. So I have a good idea that there's going to be more content, um, like the wood turning content, maybe content about running because I love to run and I've run marathons and even though I'm horrible at running, um, it's fun. Maybe content about my animals, training them because um, I do have two new puppies. I don't know. Maybe I'll talk about or do videos on how to be a better parent and no said nobody. I won't do that. And I'm not going to do videos on how to fold your socks or weird videos about the next door neighbor's cat who's pregnant with seven kittens. No, I'm not going to do it. Um, so I'm not going to limit myself to just sewing videos, but I can't tell you exactly what other videos I will um, put out there just because um, that could change.
from day to day. All right, this question and answer session is coming to an end. I have a feeling that there are gonna be some more personal questions that are asked. So feel free to ask in the comments and I will answer um, as long as it's appropriate. Yeah. Um, some things about me, I am turning 50 this month and I think you know that I've been married for 50 years. I'm sorry, not 50 years. Wow. Not editing that out because that's funny. That's the plan though. 50 years is the plan. No. What was that? 9,217 days? Yeah. Yeah. yeah I only know that because uh, my husband has um, this really cool board that he made for me several years ago on our wedding anniversary. It hangs in our bedroom and he changes out uh, the number of days each day so that we can celebrate how long we've been married every day, not just one day out of the year. That's how cool he is. Yes, we've been married 25 years and he is amazing because he can tolerate this craziness. Yeah. Um, I don't know what other personal things you would like to know. Um, I was a surrogate. I know how to juggle. Um, I can sign. Um, I have run the Chicago Marathon, the Disney Marathon. I know I'm just trying to think of some, you know, different things that might be interesting. Um, yeah. yeah, that's, that's going to be all it, that's going to be it for today. That is our question and answer session. It will not be edited. Um, thanks again for joining me, uh, to learn about by George and, uh, myself. <laughs>